Steele's Michelle Steele live at the New York Stock Exchange. Good morning, Michelle. Hey, Alma and Guy. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, the House Financial Services Committee is asking the White House to release documents on the bailouts of GM and Chrysler, according to USA Today. The committee says it wants more details about the decisions that forced those automakers into bankruptcy. Meantime, General Motors and Chrysler cut back on political giving this year as they headed into bankruptcy. According to Federal Election Commission records, GM's Political Action Committee made no donations in the first half of the year, down from $215,000 uh, during the same period about two years ago. Chrysler gave about $10,000, though, compared to about $243,000 dollars two years ago. And bankrupt auto parts maker Lear Corp is asking for court permission to pay more than $20 million in bonuses to 29 executives. That's according to the court documents. Half of the payout is tied to Lear's emerging from bankruptcy within 300 days of its July 7th filing. 25% depends on filing a reorganization plan within two months of the filing. And Michigan is one of several states taking a harder line on cigarette smuggling. That's according to the Wall Street Journal. According to uh, government research, states are losing about $5 billion a year because of illegal tobacco sales. All right, taking a look at the markets now. We had a mixed close way back on Friday. Dow capping its best weekly gain since March, helped out by gains for IBM. And this morning, stock index features are rising on higher commodity prices and speculation that lenders CIT Group will receive funding. Live at the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Michelle Steele, Bloomberg News, reporting for Local 4. Guy Nama, back over to you guys. All right, Michelle.